one of the greatest minds of our time. Introducing Roger Penrose. Roger Penrose is a unique figure in the world of science, known for his profound intellect and innovative ideas. He is a mathematical physicist, a cosmologist, and a philosopher who has made significant contributions to our understanding of the universe. His work spans across various disciplines, blending mathematics with the mysteries of the cosmos. Born in 1931, his groundbreaking work on black holes and general relativity earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2020. This recognition was a testament to his lifelong dedication to unraveling the secrets of the universe. Penrose's work goes beyond the traditional boundaries of physics, venturing into areas that challenge our very perception of reality. He delves into the mysteries of the human mind and the nature of consciousness, exploring questions that have puzzled humanity for centuries. His groundbreaking book, The Emperor's New Mind, challenged the prevailing view that the brain is just a complex computer. In it, he proposed that human consciousness cannot be fully explained by conventional scientific theories. Penrose argues that consciousness is not merely a product of computation, but something far more intricate and profound. He believes it arises from deeper, more fundamental processes in the universe, intertwining the realms of physics and philosophy. His ideas have sparked intense debate and inspired new avenues of research, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can discover. Penrose's work invites us to reconsider our place in the cosmos, urging us to explore the unknown and embrace the mysteries that lie beyond. The Enigma of Consciousness Beyond Traditional Neuroscience Consciousness, the subjective experience of being, has puzzled philosophers and scientists for centuries. It is the essence of our awareness, the core of our being, and yet it remains one of the greatest mysteries of the human mind. How does the material brain give rise to the immaterial world of thoughts, feelings, and sensations? This question has led to numerous theories and endless debates. Traditional neuroscience explains consciousness as an emergent property of the complex network of neurons in our brains. These neurons interact in ways that create the rich tapestry of our conscious experience. However, Penrose, along with anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, proposed a radical alternative, the Orchestrated Objective Reduction Theory, or ORSH-OR. This theory challenges the conventional understanding and opens new avenues of exploration. This theory suggests that consciousness originates at the quantum level, the realm of atoms and subatomic particles. It posits that quantum processes within the brain are fundamental to our conscious experience. It is within the intricate structures of our brain cells, specifically within microtubules, where the magic of consciousness unfolds. These tiny structures may hold the key to understanding the profound nature of our awareness. Microtubules and Quantum Coherence Tiny Players in a Grand Symphony Microtubules are tiny, cylindrical structures that form the scaffolding of living cells. They play a crucial role in cell division and maintain the cell's shape. Penrose and Hameroff propose that microtubules are not just structural elements but also act as quantum computers. Quantum coherence, a phenomenon where particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously, is key to this theory. Orch-OR suggests that quantum coherence within microtubules allows for a vast number of possibilities to be explored simultaneously, giving rise to the richness and complexity of our conscious experience. The Quantum Brain, Rethinking How We Think The idea of the brain as a quantum computer challenges the classical view of how information is processed. Traditionally, we have thought of the brain as a complex but ultimately classical machine, operating through electrical impulses and chemical signals. In classical computing, information is stored and processed as bits, which can be either a zero or a one. This binary system has been the foundation of computing for decades, driving the digital revolution. However, in quantum computing, information is stored in qubits, which can be in a superposition, existing as both zero and one simultaneously. This allows for a much greater density of information and parallel processing capabilities. 
Orc OR proposes that the brain exploits the unique properties of quantum mechanics to achieve computational power far exceeding that of even the most advanced supercomputers. This theory suggests that quantum processes within the brain's microtubules enable it to perform complex calculations and tasks with incredible efficiency. This quantum computation within microtubules could explain the brain's remarkable ability to process information, make decisions, and experience the world consciously. It opens up new possibilities for understanding consciousness and the very nature of human thought, suggesting that our brains are far more powerful and mysterious than we ever imagined. On the other hand, we have the quantum soul. Let's bridge the gap between physics and spirituality. The implications of Orkor extend beyond the realm of neuroscience, touching upon the age-old question of the soul. If consciousness is indeed a fundamental aspect of the universe, as Penrose suggests, then it's possible that our conscious experience is not limited to our physical bodies. Orchor opens up the possibility that consciousness could exist independently of the brain, perhaps even surviving bodily death. This idea resonates with spiritual traditions that have long maintained the existence of a soul or spirit that transcends the physical body. A Chorus of Criticism Scrutinizing the Quantum Consciousness Hypothesis Orc or is not without its critics. Some argue that the brain is too warm and wet for delicate quantum states to survive long enough to influence consciousness. Others question whether microtubules have the necessary complexity to act as quantum computers. However, recent research has shown that quantum coherence can indeed exist in biological systems at room temperature, lending some support to the theory. While Orch OR remains a controversial hypothesis, it continues to stimulate research and debate in the field of consciousness studies. Final Chapter Unveiling the Mysteries of the Mind, the Future of Consciousness Studies The search for the neural correlates of consciousness is one of the most exciting and challenging frontiers in science. New technologies are emerging that allow us to study the brain with unprecedented detail. As we delve deeper into the workings of the brain, we may find evidence to support or refute theories like Orc OR. Whether or not quantum mechanics plays a role in consciousness remains an open question. However, the pursuit of this question will undoubtedly lead to a deeper understanding of the human mind and our place in the universe.